Hey guys, how you going? Peter here. Um, so, making a video, I've decided I wanted to give you guys a more comprehensive look through uh, the work on this project, Eternal Conflict. Uh, this has been one of the flagship projects for Dragon Interactive for a while. Uh, first person shooter, platforming elements, also some RPG elements. Uh, I've been giving various screenshots of the level, so I thought I'll take you through this, which is going to be the main hub of the game and uh, explain where I'm looking at going into the future. Cool. Alright. Uh, so as you can see, I've opted for quite a light uh, f light and flat colour scheme so far. Items like the furniture will uh, end up being fully textured, however for now they're obviously just prototypes. Um, the walls and floor, however, I believe I'm going to keep this kind of aesthetic. I'm quite enjoying the uh, surrealism it gives you. So as we can see in the game window, we have our character. The arm's currently not animated, because I've been working on this for a year and I haven't got around to it yet. It sounds bad when I put it that way. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So this is the hub level. Uh, this is where the player will commence all of their missions from. Uh, as you can see, it's a fair size. It's um, supposed to simulate kind of a, a spaceship, similar to the start of Knights of the Old Republic uh, 2. Uh, only Oh, yeah. and so yeah, and similar to Nazi of Republic 2, this one will actually be under attack and you have to liberate it. So you start the game here, uh, you hear kind of sirens in the distance, proceed, uh, get a little bit of a walk forward, walk backward, learn how to move tutorial, how to look around. Um, I might even do something similar to the start of Halo 1 where they have to calibrate the thing, you know, look into the sensors, chief. And they proceed out here, cool, cool, decorations, sparsely decorated. Um, my level design has been pushed to the limit so far, <laughs> I'm trying to make that better. They'll come out here, you see this kind of uh, round thingy, these symbol, uh, so far, are the markers for quest waypoints. Uh, very simple quest system that's just as you go through. So you get to here, cutscene starts, uh, this is our little hollow projector, it even has particles when I press play, which I will do in just a bit, actually I may as well do now. load. I've been doing quite a lot of heavy Test lighting. Test has begun. You'll hear me in the background because I've put my voice in for uh, like testing. So that would be instead of my voice saying test one has begun, it would be something like, uh, hey chief, how are you going? I'm not going to call myself chief. It's not Halo, but like it's just what's in my mind at the moment. But yeah, hey sir, how are you going? Uh, please do this for me. Cool, cool. Calibrate, calibrate. Run out the door. Into here. Come up to here. Cutscene. Looking at the projector. One reached. Waypoint 1. Uh, this and this and this is happening. The ship's under attack. Help, help, help. Warning lights. Cool. Go here. Learn how to interact. Press E. Objective Yay. 2. Finished. Now you'll see we enter into a much darker atmosphere. Now, I'm kind of excited about this because I've been working on this for the last week. Uh, you'll notice that as I go through this door, this faulty, faulty, horrible do door. That's all programming at the moment. I need to make an animation. But, uh, you'll notice my hands are changing colour as if every single one of these lights was real time. Now they are not, thank god. Uh, these are all just a mission and I've put a tiny spotlight in front of it which is just for the player's hands which is also not real time. Everything in this level is baked. Um, what I do have is 8487 light probes I think it is. Let's, let's just click on that. Boom. Each one of these light probes uh, has a look around at the lighting around it, collects it, makes a volume, and you can see it makes a bunch of tetrahedrons, uh, which sample the light inside it. And then as my character goes through, it goes onto their hands. I've only just figured out how to do that. It took quite a while. Oh yep, yeah, I've got a bit of a UI going here. I don't know why my mouse isn't disappearing, but yeah, resume, equipment, none of that works for some reason. I've probably accidentally deleted my event system. Press tab. That's annoying. I'm just going to quickly restart for that for you guys because I had stuff implemented for getting rid of the mouse. However, just upgraded to 2018.3. Test one has begun. Looks like it wants to not listen to me. So we'll go through here. So we're heading into kind of an engineering uh, department. This is a marketing uh, market area, kind of. These will have like your Mass Effect 3 kind of promotions on them, like 
by the new weapon of this destruction. Rada rada rada. Going through here, we have our uh, sh uh, engine, hyperdrive, shield generator, important piece of ship uh, protected by the force field. I'm thinking I'm going to have a couple of enemies here and here shooting at this. Now, this is a wonderful thing. I got this from, I think his name's Cryptix. He uh, does the realistic effects pack for an asset store. Uh, and he helped me out modifying his asset so that it was cubic. And it means when I shoot it, it a lovely effect. Uh, you'll get a bit of lag and I haven't optimized the effects on that yet. But yeah, I am looking at also a very magic -y feel to the uh, uh, the effects from this. Oh yeah, you can see those. Nice. Uh, yeah, and that works. Cool, we'll continue on because I'm rambling a little bit. Um, yeah, so you go in, you rescue the hyperdrive, good work. However, I'm over at the bridge. Help me. Running, running, running. Okay, cool. Choo 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 choo. -choo. I'm like probably gonna put some crates down here, you can take cover behind it. Wow, that needs to be more reactive, I think. I've got a weight on that, uh, but it looks like it just yeah. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, boom, boom, boom. Turn the corner. Pachoo, pachoo, pachoo. Die, aliens come. Um, come into here. Haven't decided what. This might be an antechamber. It might be uh, a bunch of desks. A uh, desk room seems likely. More like an office. Um, coming through here. Again, same kind of thing. We're starting to get more brighter on purpose. I want things to become almost overbearingly bright as we continue down this passage. Now, as you can see, uh, this was, you can see the room we started in over there. Oh. And I put a bunch of cubes here. Oh no, can't get past. However, will we survive? Oh, did I manage to move one of those? <gasps> be kidding me. Alright, I've got to fix that. But, this will all be blocked. I might just put a giant invisible wall there. Um, until you liberate the ship. And then this becomes your hub and you can go straight from your room to here cutting through all that nonsense going around that way. Cool. Um, so as we continue through here, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm, now this is going to be a secondary command deck, so you'll have uh, the ability to control your shields and all that kind of stuff. Now you see my hands have gone dark. Uh, that is because these, I accidentally didn't make these into prefabs. There's no lights in here. I know, there's no lights. <laughs> it looks like there is. I tricked you. Anyway. And at last we come to the bridge, a nice big open area with a platform up the end here. If you're wondering what that sound is, I have implemented a jetpack. Uh, it obviously needs work. Uh, I want it to go all up, but yes, it is nice for now. Uh, yeah, so this is my main level that I've been working on, guys. Um, yeah, it's taken me quite a while. I'm not good at level design. I will say that first and foremost, I am a programmer. Uh, level design does not come easy and this has been a labour. However, it has been a labour of love and I've enjoyed quite a lot of it. So I'm actually, you know what, inspiration is striking me. I kind of want to get rid of these walls and put a nice big, um, like a, a window there, staring out into space, maybe expand this so you get that nice rounded feeling of like, oh space. Anyway, coming back here. Alright, uh, so yeah, and so what I'm working on now is replacing the lights in here. It'll all look the same, however, I just need to be able to put spotlights on these so that I can um, get the lighting working for the hands. Once that's done, uh, as I was talking to you, I want to put in your boxes here, through here. Now, I have got NPCs and enemies made, however, they're not very good at the moment, which is why they're not implemented. I wanted to be able to walk through this level without dealing with any of that nonsense. Um, yeah, I think you guys are up to date. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm, I'm always happy to answer questions, mostly because that actually helps me figure out things. Uh, you would not... the solvable powers of talking to other people are amazing. My girlfriend gets sick of it continuously. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Enjoy yourself.